We're here today with uh, Nelson and Sarah Koblenz, and uh, Nelson's the founder of Gospel Express. We came on board, was in 92? 1992. 1992 with uh, Gospel Express. Nelson, just love to hear your perspective. What was that like? And just the whole thing of that, you know, a lot of times people don't want to see somebody leave mm -hmm. and start something else. But um, just your thoughts back to those years. Mm -hmm. When Jason came on board and Jason and Fern and the family, you know, and uh, of course Jason's background, uh, I think it's no secret with uh, out at Fresh Start, and so already God was stirring his heart for counseling ministry. Yep. That, that, that was no secret, of course not. And in 98, when he came and said, you know, they just feel God's direction for uh, the counseling ministry, it was not a surprise, but it was like, how is this going to work out? And you know the words in Philippians chapter 2, verse 4 and 5, where uh, Paul said, you know, look not every man on his own things, but also on the things of others. Verse 5, let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus, who laid down his life, and you give up to move up. And that Amen. principle began mm -hmm. to really speak to me about, you don't give up to move yourself up, but you give up others so they can move up mm -hmm. into their callings and their abilities. Even though you don't know how it's all going to work, and that's faith, is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen yet. But to watch God transition that, because when you empower others, when you release, when you bless, you cannot imagine the reach. Now, I get touched when I speak, but to see the reach of blessing others, empowering others, and you're not even realizing at the time what God's going to do with your vision mm -hmm. that He's placed in you, which all our vision comes from God because He's the greatest visionary. He's, he's the one that plants vision in us. But then to see who else is going to get involved. And through the years, Jason, you know, for him to watch how God has then used that to multiply. Mm -hmm. And really that's what it is. Mm -hmm. It's multiplication. Mm -hmm. And once you start releasing people, empowering people, blessing them to utilize their giftings, you stand in awe to see what God does in their lives. And the amount of people, not just that are involved in that ministry, say that now in Door of Hope, Hannah House Ministry, here, Pennsylvania, the people that are involved, but the people that have been blessed and have found freedom, that is multiplication. Mm -hmm and then even board members, and you go on and on, the far reach of empowering others mm -hmm. is absolutely amazing. Jason and Fern have been our dearest friends. <laughs> uh, through, and, and that's one of the keys that I've shared with people, to the glory of God, and it's all to the glory of God, is that maintain friendships. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you wow. release, empower and those people, I could start naming people <laughs> through the years. And uh, the blessing has been to say, they're my best friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're my best friends. We could have chosen to, I don't see it your way. I don't, you know, but it, it was difficult different times. But God has, you know, revealed that. Share with me. They are not our people. Mm -hmm. We don't belong to each other. We all belong to God. Mm -hmm. And when we keep that in perspective, but I just, it's been a blessing, you know, 20 years. <laughs> it doesn't seem like 20 years, you know, mm -hmm. for the ministry here, you know, Door of Hope. Mm -hmm. But the blessing of seeing people released, you know, it's here at our Gospel Express office at the other end of the office mm -hmm. where the counseling, to see people come down these hallways mm -hmm. with freedom, with tears, heading for the bathroom because <laughs> they got to wipe tears and, you know, that is absolutely, that in itself, just to see God at work mm -hmm. in that way. Tremendous blessing. I love to see people's gifts being uh, used. And, and uh, you know, it, it is difficult when there's change. Who likes change? Uh, yeah, somebody said, young people like change as babies with wet <laughs> diapers. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, we don't like change, but yet to see what God does, mm -hmm. uh, that's the blessing in it all. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, uh, that's what I enjoy. And, and even though, like at times, it is difficult. Mm -hmm. I just ask you to pray for Door of Hope. Pray for Jason and Fern. Pray for the ministry. Because I really believe it's at the beginning stages of what God really has in store for them. Door of Hope and the Hannah House ministry that is here with Door of Hope here in North Carolina. And so thank you again for your prayerful support, financial support. And even if you can't give, um, not in a position to give, pray. That is something we can all be involved in praying. And prayer availeth much. God bless each and every one of you.